All right, guys, this is going to be part two to the motor installation for Liberty Trike. We're going to show anybody that might need this how to remove and reinstall the set of forks on a Liberty Trike. So Brian's going to start by unplugging the motor, and then he's going to unplug the controller. And we're going to open the quick clamp and remove the handlebars. Okay, now we're going to remove the top nut. And under that will be a lock washer. And then we'll just remove the quick clamp. There will be another washer, a spacer, and then we get to our top crown nut. So you want to keep pressure on the wheel upwards as you unscrew this. Uh, we have this in a bike stand, but it sometimes help at the, helps at this stage to do it on the ground so that the fork and the motor don't just drop out. Okay, so once the top nut's off, you'll see inside as he pulls it down, you'll see there's a set of bearings in there. You can go ahead and just leave them there. And then when the fork drops completely out, you will see you'll have another set of bearings down below. They'll either stay here or they'll stay up inside the bottom of the cup. If they stay inside the bottom of the cup, you want to leave them there. Um, if they come off, so we're going to pull ours out. You're going to see there's two ways these can go on. It's kind of hard to tell with the grease, but you see our balls for the ball bearings are up. And then there's the flat spot of the cage on the bottom. So you always want to put the balls into the cup so that the retaining face plate on the outside is downward. Okay, so we're going to leave them there. Okay, so now with the with that removed, we're just going to put it back in after you've done whatever repairs or corrections you may need to do. Okay, once it comes up, your uh, fork comes up through, again, check and make sure your bearings are all still seated properly. You don't want to get them caught up in there. So then we're just going to run our top cap down. Okay, so at this point right here, what you want to do is exactly what Brian's doing. You just want to hold this right here and, make, and as you turn the wheel, keep it a little bit snug. You just want to make sure there's no pressure and no play in this. A good way to tell that you have this installed correctly is while the bike's on the ground, you want to rock it back and forward and side to side. And make sure there's no play in here or in here. Okay, so now that we have that installed and we know there's no play and the wheel still turns freely, we're going to put on our spacer and then we're going to put on our washers. So when you get these washers, you'll see there's a little tab right there and there's a slit on the front and a slit on the back. Okay, so we're going to put one. The groove goes into the slit. We're going to put one on the bottom in the back slot. Slide that down. Then Brian's going to put on our quick clamp. Okay, and then we're going to take our last washer. Again, it's the same washer. It's got the same little nubby right there. And the little slot And this one's going to go in the slot in the front. Okay, now that that's done, he's going to reinstall the top nut. Okay, and he's going to run that down until it touches everything else but still is loose. At this point, we're going to reinstall our handlebars. Okay, and you want to be careful as you're sliding the handlebars in, there is a little plastic seal right there. You don't want to damage the plastic seal. Make sure that the handlebars are into their minimum insertion point. Okay, and at this point, Brian is going to run the nut down a little bit further. Once he has it where he wants it, the quick clamp should be in its correct position. He's going to snug the clamp down and then close it to hold the handlebars into place. 
we're going to grab our uh, 32 millimeter wrench for your top nut here and all he's doing here is just snugging the nut up which is going to bring pressure down on the remaining components below it and then he's going to recheck his quick clamp make sure everything is seated make sure there's no play in none of the components in between straighten out his handlebars give it one last lock and at this point we're going to plug our cables back in once your cables are all plugged in, you should be good to go.